Here is a riddle for you. There is no only truth. There is only truth. There is no only truth. There is only truth. <laughs> Can you spot the difference? The statement can be perceived in two ways. And the best way I can explain it is that like in the dimension of duality or the three-dimensional awareness of mental, psychological and emotional awareness, we perceive that there is such a thing as death. And, uh, but when you are conscious of your higher state of being, like in the fifth dimension, in the heavenly dimension, and you have the heavenly spirit view, you realize that there is no death, that death is an illusion. But certainly in the lower earthly realm, in the earthly perception, death is very real. It doesn't seem like an illusion. It is only an illusion once we see beyond this matrix, once we see beyond this physical manifestation, and once we realize that we are more than physicality. To the spirit self, death does not exist. And in the same way, to the spirit self, lies do not exist. Truth and lies are concepts in the dual, in the dimension of duality, just like death and life is a concept in the mental dualistic dimension. That's why I say in the opening comment, there is no only truth, there is only truth <laughs> from the higher perspective. From God's perspective, there is only truth. There is only life and there's only light. The shadow sides of, the, of these things, like lies, death and darkness, can only be perceived in this lower dimension of our earth existence and only having the awareness of the five senses. Heavenly perception transcends the five senses of this reality, of this body. And when we see from outside of this body, this physicality, we realize that it is all just a, an illusion, all just a game, make believe. And the game is formed by the definitions that our mind gives things and objects. That's all it is. So again, there is no only truth. There is only truth. <laughs>